my first uh, formal experiment as a child uh, was to take apart my toys and then have all the pieces on the ground and have no idea how to put them together. Um, but it was that innate sense of curiosity that led me to the sciences, the natural sciences in particular, where I have an undergraduate degree in biological science, biochemistry, and then a doctorate in microbiology. And it was after that that I went to Seattle, Washington to pursue uh, postdoctoral studies in cardiovascular disease at the medical school at the University of Washington. We Dominicans on the Western Province staffed the Newman Center there at the university, and it was there that for the first time I met Dominicans. And uh, long story short, here I am in the Western Dominican Province. I've been in the Dominican Order since 1989, and throughout these years I've come to see in God's wisdom that who the Dominicans are is who God has called me to be from the very beginning. And while I love John of the Cross, I think my vocation is truly with the Dominicans and our commitment to lifelong learning and the engagement in the world around us. I think I have two general categories of research interests that play themselves out in the classroom and in my writing. The first has to do with our environment and the current status, if you will, of our world uh, that is very beautifully addressed in uh, Pope Francis' recent encyclical Laudato Si, the call for the care of our common home. I've offered for a number of years uh, a course related to sustainable uh, food production and consumption that tries to investigate in, through my own lens as a scientist, some of these issues of how we as Christians uh, ought to approach our environment the stewardship responsibilities that we have for our environment and how that really must flow not simply from an academic or a scientific obligation but from our own Christian faith. The other category of uh, interest that I have um, has to do with Catholic culture and our worship uh, responsibilities. As Christians we have been baptized into the ongoing work of salvation of Jesus Christ and as the uh, Christian family that is made manifest formally through what we define as the mystical body of Christ. And it's through that ongoing work of Jesus Christ, uh, which we understand uh, in a Greek term, liturgy, which actually means work, that this work that Jesus Christ does for the world is a once for all thing, and we're invited to partake of that work. So it's through that lens then that we ask, well, who are we as Christians? What is our particular Christian anthropology that uh, calls us to be part of that work? And then what's the manner in which we're called to be part of that work? One of the unique things that I really appreciate uh, here at DSVT as a professor is our desire to keep our classroom sizes on the smaller side. As the academic dean, I get to choose uh, what classes I teach, and so I uh, gravitate towards the more advanced uh, MA level and doctoral level courses that uh, attract students uh, who are highly motivated to study the topic because they're choosing uh, to be there as opposed to a required fulfillment. And so in the classroom, where we have you know anywhere from six to 10 students, uh, there's a real opportunity for conversation, for picking a topic and engaging in a really in-depth manner in the topic, for creating a dialogue rather than simply a lecture, and so we can learn together. It's very exciting to be part of that. 